Hi everybody, it's the Day Dip by Day Pagan, and I thought that perhaps uh, this altar is, I think, maybe too full. Anyways, I'm thinking that maybe we could do a little sort of rambly blog sort of thing while I cleanse a few pieces I got at the thrift store recently. I think we'll start with this piece. Hold on. This is why I need a camera that automatically focuses. But cameras are expensive. So this is that says Phillips. You tell me. This is a piece that I've already cleansed once. I got at the thrift store not entirely recently. Well, about a week ago, I'd say, maybe a little more now, but it is a handmade pottery piece. Now I have to zoom out. I guess I need to just kneel instead of sitting cross-legged. Um, and I cleansed this once already, but my girlfriend said she was getting bad vibes off of it, so I'm going to cleanse it again. Everything else I'm going to wash, but since this isn't... I don't think really waterproof. It's porous, especially on the inside. I don't want water to get into it to create bacteria. So we're just going to cleanse it with fire and then with um, this mixture here I have. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything ready to put the salt in and then we'll put the salt in. So I'm just going to hold it over this kind of capturing the heat of the fire as much as anything. Just imagining it, visualizing it going up into the jar, filling it. Just kind of banishing any energies that belonged to this piece, or not belonged to, but were part of this piece before. You can hold it and do that as well. And yes, I'm using a um, upside down candle holder to prop up the candle, but it's what works. Next piece we have is this. All of these are from two different thrift stores that I went to in the past two weeks. And I think this was about 99 cents. Some sort of little goblet thing. Kind of reminds me of those egg um, things that you set eggs in, like poached eggs, but this would have to be like for an ostrich egg or something. I don't know what it is, but I'm planning on using it as an offering glass for my ancestor altar. And since this is waterproof, I'm going to take you could use something like moon water for this um, if you wanted. I do have a specific water I use for wiping down my altar and charging it and protecting it, but I am literally just using water I got out of the tap a minute ago and a clean washcloth. There's cat hair somehow. I shouldn't be surprised I have two cats. Yet I am. So this is a chance to, as I call it, physically cleanse, as well as energetically cleanse, so just clean it more so than actually cleansing it. There's so much cat hair. It's a Cassiopeia cat hair. I have a black cat and a, like, beige cat, and this is all the black cat. So once again, I'm going to hold it over it like this. I'm sure there are people out there who are like, oh, you can't talk while you cleanse things. That's not kosher or not, not appropriate. But I guess we'll do this one next. This is two pieces here as one. 
But I figure as long as I can focus on what I'm doing and put my energy into it, it's fine. And if I were doing this by myself, there's a hot chance that I would be talking to one of my deities or listening to an audiobook. Or just talking to myself even. So this is a little like, almost like a cake cover, but much smaller. And I've been wanting one of these for quite a while. Um, Cause I can put offerings in it, on it like this and cover it up. And the cats can't get to it. Like I said, I have two cats. Any offerings I put out that are food or are small and light, they're going to bat around and it's annoying. So that's what this is gonna be for. So I'm going to wipe down both pieces if I can find my washcloth. Have my water in the most sacred of vessels. It's a joke. This one is actually probably the dirtiest out of all of them. It had like a lot of dust accumulated on it, which isn't that bad. It's better than actual dirt, I suppose. So I'm just giving it a good wipe down. The white one was probably the second dirtiest, the, the little ostrich egg thing. So tonight is the winter moon. It's the October full moon. So it is the 20th of October. And it is also a festival called Deserblot or Winter Nights um, in Norse paganism, which um, you may know I am a Norse pagan. So you're probably wondering, Fox, why why aren't you uh, why aren't you participating? Well, friends, I thought it was last month. I got my full moons mixed up, so I did all of my ritual last month on the full moon, and. I didn't have anything planned for tonight, which is fine. It happens. It did leave me feeling a little bit bummed, but it's okay. All right, now I don't want to put this too low because it could actually like extinguish the candle. In fact, if I do this, you can probably watch the candle start to go out. Like if I set it like that, you can see the candle start to shrink because there's no oxygen. And this, I don't know how much you could tell in the video, but it has little glass, like etchings in the glass. I'll put some pictures in maybe at the end or something at some point so you can see everything real nice. If the, oh, my phone vibrated. Um, if the video doesn't do it for you, I'll watch it back and see. There's gonna be fingerprints all over this thing, but that's okay. And the final thing is my favorite, and I think it's my girlfriend's favorite too. It is an etched glass little dish with Christmas trees and mountains in the background. And what looks to be a child perhaps, maybe a little girl picking out a Christmas tree or a Yule tree. That's what this is going to be for. This is going to be for Yule. so probably put a candle in it or a bunch of small like baubles or ornaments. So let's get some more water. So alter cloth. Not having a good time. Just spilled water on my leg. Oh well. Wash this one out real quick. And see the reason for doing all of this at once and then coming back there's no real spiritual reason for it. It's more so, I want them to be dry before I put salt in them. <laughs> also, if you hear any desperate, heartbroken meowing, that's my cat. Um, if you've watched my tarot video, you would have seen him in that. Um, he just uh, likes being with me, but I didn't want him in here right now with the fire and the water and the mess potential. So he's not allowed in the bedroom right now. All right, well, my camera stopped recording, so I don't know where it stopped, but what we're essentially going to do is, now that we've washed everything, here we have the piece that didn't get wet, but I'm going to, um, 
going to put what I call my saged salt. Well, is it saged salt? Huh. No, I'm not sure. Do I put sage in this or do I put rosemary in this? I think I do both. Anyways, I put my cleansing salt in it and I'll show you the cleansing salt. It's in this jar, something I believe my mother gave me and it's salt, eggshells, and well, specifically, I'll zoom you in. Himalayan salt. Himalayan pink salt. Eggshells that I crushed up. And either sage or rosemary or both. So I'm going to put a little bit in each of them. And I'm going to let this sit overnight. Just to help get ready, rid of any of the remaining yucky vibes. I think the reason this uh, kind of sketched my girlfriend out is it looks like an urn a little bit, maybe, I don't know. But I'm planning on getting some flowers, either drying some flowers or finding some dried flowers or something, and that'll be it. Hopefully give it a little more of a cheerful look. I love pottery like this though, so. I mean, oh, we have this one. I'm gonna run out of this stuff if I'm not careful. Now, one thing I've discovered is that you kind of have to be careful when using salt for cleansing. You don't want to put it on something that's, um, for example, you don't want to put it on a cast iron cauldron, skillet, that sort of thing. You, you may have some issues with that, um, depending on your intent. So. And here's that um, really pretty Christmas tree piece again. I don't... I don't know, my camera cut out. This might have been something you weren't able to see. So, just in case. Well, another little shot for you. It's like a candle holder, perhaps, etched glass. There's trees. Winter scene, a little girl pointing at the tree. Um, it. I really want to use it for Yule. I think it's pretty. My girlfriend wants to put it... Um... put a candle in it. I think that would look nice. I also think some baubles, like Christmas ornaments type things, would look in it. I really love the vintage ornament look vibe. Alright, now this one we're going to do, I don't know, should I do a little bit in each piece or just like this. I think this might be good because this is the intent of how I'm going to use the piece with the lid on so doing that will help maybe. So yeah that is that. They are well they're not completely cleansed yet but I mean they could be good to go if you wanted but I wanted to do the extra step rather than just cleansing with intent actually use some physical supplies. had really good luck at the thrift store lately and these are no exception and I'm really excited about these. I also got a pumpkin, um, almost like a bowl um, dish I guess and I'm not using that for occult pagan witchy stuff. It's just a decoration downstairs but I was really happy with that. The tag says it came from an edible arrangements piece which is kind of funny but yeah, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this nice rambly little piece. Um, let me know if there's anything in particular you'd like to hear me talk about. Um, you can always check out my blog, The Day by Day Pagan, um, to see my book reviews. Um, I have a Instagram called The Day by Day Pagan as well. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to talk about. I just wanted to do a quick little chat with me while I cleansed everything. So yes, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye! <sighs>